Alright guys, in this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to make different spawn locations. And you can have as many as you want. It's just a lot more work the more you have. So, I have a game manager here. But we're not going to do anything with the game manager. We're just going to put um, however many points you want on the game manager. I chose three. And if I go to my scene view, you'll see the first one's in the upper left. Second one's in the upper right, and the third one's just pretty much in the middle of the bottom. <clears throat> and I'll show you how this works. So, okay. Didn't mean to start off like that. So, we have our player here, and how I set it up when our health reaches zero. <coughs> Because we start dead center. When our health reaches zero, it takes you to a different spawn location. And if it reaches zero again, chose the same one that time. Zero, chose the same one. There we go. Upper left, upper right, and original. But the idea is it can be any spawn location. And it's supposed to change your rotation too. Um, how I set it up, it should work for most people. If you followed my rotation tutorial, like player rotation tutorial, you're going to have to set it up differently, and I'll tell you how you have to set it up. Um, it has to do with setting it up as an Euler angle and in a movement script. As we, as you can see, I put different rotation values, made them public. Anyway. For the spawn location, where did I made a script and I set how many spawn locations there were and um, made a game object for each. Now keep in mind, whenever you read this, you, you'll see random not range, zero, and spawn points. So zero and three. There's four possibilities there. Zero, one, two, and three since these are all integers. Um, but in Unity, it will never run the highest value. So really, it's just 0, 1, and 2. And I made a switch for this. So um, we made another variable here. But when you make it inside of a function, it uh, you can't make it public. So you can't see it in, in Unity's editor. However, yeah, it's only accessible in this function here. So we made that at the beginning, set it to a random number between 0 and technically 2. And when we, uh, when we respawn something, we give it a game object. So this could really work with anything. So that's the only parameter we require. And if the random not range gives you a zero, it'll set its position to spawn point one, which is set, um, where was it set? Right here. So yeah, actually we did add something to this, a script. So we have three spawn points, spawn point one, spawn point two, spawn point three, and as you can see, they all have their different locations. So it'll basically set, um, when you type player here, that's the game object we give it when we call this function, dot transform dot position equals, and then whatever position um, the spawn point's at, that's chosen. And if you don't know how to write a switch, just copy this. So the integer it gives us, that's the parameter here. And whatever that's equal to is the case. So, yeah, if that doesn't run true, if, if spawn point is not equal to zero, it goes to the next one until you get the one you want. So let's say it says it gives you uh, a value of two. It'll go straight down to this one. It'll run this code. Then it breaks. Breaks out of it. And since we uh, are only using this with our player, um, it'll set his health back to max health. 
and you want it's important that you put max health because if you adjust the max health during the game and you just set it to like a hundred it might not necessarily be the max health now here's where we run into trouble with the rotation as you can see we just set it back to zero for everything and in our movement script we set um, different values yeah see rot y rot x rot y um, to fix that since uh, spawn location is on uh, since it's on the game manager and not your player you just have to do game object dot find with tag and you have to give your player tag I think my player is just player dot get component um and you want to get well, actually I don't even think you have to do that I think you can just do dot dot transform dot rotation if I could type and then equals and do that quaternion dot oiler no 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 I'm an idiot <laughs> Okay, that's completely wrong. Don't listen to that. Player, which is the um, the one parameter we have for this function. Dot get component and movement because that's where we have a rotation in our player. Dot and then you get whatever value you want. So rot x equals zero, and then you have to write out three of these for each value. And that should reset it. However, I won't be doing that because I'm lazy and I don't, I don't really care about resetting it in the first place. But yeah, that's uh, that's really all there is to it. And as I showed you before, I'll show you again. Take our player. Set his health to zero, and he goes to different spawn locations, and it's completely random. I mean, if you're if you're really really smart, you can predict it, but uh, <laughs> you gotta have a computer program do that to you for you because it's based on a timestamp, and the timestamp is how many seconds it's been since 1970, January 1st, 1970. So. Yeah, you won't be calculating that in your head. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.